Hey, what's up everybody? Game Dad here, coming at you guys with a brand new collection video, this time showcasing everything that is in my Turbo Graphics collection. Baby Kenzie decided that she wanted to help Dad today, so let's check out what we got in store for you. Alien Crush was released by Hudson Soft in 1988 and is a fun pinball game for the Turbo Graphics. The whole board is actually divided into two screens with a special boss area as well. You play the game like a normal pinball game, but then in the boss area, you have to use the ball to take out the enemies and increase your score. Bonk's Adventure was released by Red Company in 1989 and is the Turbo Graphics answer to games like Sonic and Mario. It is an action platformer and is actually a lot of fun. It has unique elements in the game that really help this game become its own amongst the other giants. Bonk's Revenge was released by Red Company in 1991 and is a continuation of the franchise. In this game, the graphics are improved as well as the controls, and the game just has an overall feel of being more finished. The first game didn't feel incomplete by any means, but this title feels like it has a lot more to offer. Deep Blue was released by Pack in Video in 1989 and is a side-scrolling shoot-'em-up that takes place in the depths of the ocean. The gameplay is incredibly simplistic and really left me wanting more. Most games like this offer several power-ups and really start to have a bullet hell feel. This, however, felt like more of the kinder version of that. Keith Courage in Alpha Zones was released by Hudson Soft in 1988 and was a launch title for the system. This game is rather interesting in that half of it is a generic slow-moving side-scroller and the other half is more of a fast-paced scroller where you play as a giant ninja mech taking out enemies. So, you know, half the game is fun. Taking It to the Hoop was released by NEC in 1990 and is your typical basketball game, but with cartoony looking characters. It's very simple in that you can do one or two players. Each player chooses their team from a variety of cities and then you play. It has very simple controls and an interesting mechanic every time you go to the hoop that gives you a timing event to make the shot. TV Sports Hockey was released by NEC in 1991 and is actually a pretty fun hockey game. I've never been great at hockey games or even really understand the game for that matter, but I did have fun playing this one. Victory Run was released by NEC in 1989 and is a rather in-depth racing game for the time. You actually get to choose the starting parts for your vehicle and upgrade as you go. The racing itself is very similar to other racing games of the time, but I really like the customization aspect of this game. So that was every game that I currently have in my Turbo Graphics collection. Now, if you guys like what you saw, please go ahead and leave a comment down below. And also, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and hit that notification bell. That way you get an alert every time I got a new video coming out. Now, as always, I'm Game Dad, and I thank you guys for watching. Say bye, Kenzie. <laughs> Catch you guys later.